Okay, how to export something out of ZBrush textured as an FBX. <laughs> oh, okay, we've got a polysphere on there. We're going to click make poly mesh. Turn on poly paint, colorize, uh, and then we're going to draw on it. So we need RGB on, and then we're drawing. Um, we've got Z out add on, so that's going to be bumping it up a bit, which is fine for playing around. Um, okay, so we've we've done some poly painting. Now, if you were to export this, nothing would happen. So, what we need to do, we need to create a UV map for it. So, we go to Z plugin, uh, UV master. A lot of ways to do it, but we're just going to use unwrap. Uh, and it'll think about it a minute. Okay, and then we need to go to texture map over here and click create f new from poly paint. And then we've got a texture. Okay, not done this before. Z plugin, FBX exporter. Um, boom, boom, boom. FBX 2014, probably a binary. Embed map, so the texture's inside. TGA. Uh, ooh, which we have? JPEG, TGA. Let's go with PNG. 16 bit. Uh, export. Um, desktop. Call it test. Call it testing so it doesn't look rude. And we'll save that. Now, should we um, let's see? Let's see whether it works. We'll, 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 we shall try bringing it into Blender. Let's delete the cube. File import FBX desktop testing import FBX. Uh, well, we've got something that is tiny. Let's put it into textured mode. And GLSL mode. We've got the texture and we've got the material. Scale 100. So it's, it's coming in tiny, but the theory is sound. Thank you for watching.